Okay, so I just wanted to make this. It's like 10 p.m. at the moment, and I've just checked my channel. And for the first time ever, I had to pinch myself to know that this is real at the moment. But I'm about to hit 1,000 subscribers. That's actually just insane. Like, bruh, like when I tell you I've been like thinking about this, not even thinking, but like just aiming for this for so long and like now it's just literally a, probably a few hours away i'm gonna go to bed now probably when i wake up i'm gonna hit a thousand subscribers all right so it's right in the morning it's like 6 30 a.m i just woke up if you can't tell already and i am about to go to work but before i do so let's have a look where we are at the moment guys i think this is it we did it we did it i'm lost for words it's like 6 30 a.m and <laughs> um, I haven't even woken up, I feel like I'm still dreaming. So this could all be a dream right now, by the way. But even if it is a dream, it's a good one. You read the title, and I want to first of all begin by saying this is like the craziest thing for me personally. So I just have a lot of things to say, but mainly just to say, number one, thank you so much for, you know, you, you guys are like the first thousand people that have watched my videos, uh, interacted, just supported me throughout, you know, these this this year, to be honest. I'm very grateful to definitely number one, to hit thousand subscribers. So I just want to say a massive thank you for, for being part of that process, that journey. And for me, this actually means like a lot and i know you, you probably just think oh this is another guy with his thousand subscriber video or whatever but for me this means like an insane amount because I, this is not my first youtube channel i've had i don't even know i've probably had about six youtube five six youtube channels over the course of i don't know how many years now but actually about 10 years technically I remember my first ever thought was in 2013, I was 14 years old and I wanted to get, I wanted to make a YouTube channel. I've always wanted to have a YouTube channel ever since I was young. And I went to my friend and I asked him, yo man, let's, let's make a YouTube channel. Like we don't know what we're going to do, but let's just do it. And yeah, like all we would, all I did in that YouTube channel was basically made like one or two videos on me making paper craft uh i don't know i was making a zelda mask i don't even like zelda like i don't i not even played a game but i was just making a paper kind of a mask and i uploaded it to youtube and i made like a one or two tutorials or whatever and then you know a few years later like i gave up on it it just i made like a couple of videos gave up on it didn't like it a few years later, I went in again, and this time I started to make vlogs in the sense like I, I do those. You know that 2015 era where YouTube was just about top 10 things about me? I'd make some vlogs with my friends. I would just make challenge videos. Yeah, they were quite, they were definitely cringe. But I just really like YouTube so much that I just had to do it and I really wanted to do it. And I, then I can't, maybe after about 10 videos, I gave up. And then about a year and a half later, I decided to make another YouTube channel. And in between then, I'll, I would have here and there maybe some YouTube channels such as, you know, gaming, whatever. I'd try more, but I just gave up. And then there's one YouTube channel, which is now my main YouTube channel. Um, if you want to go check that one out, it's if you click on my About Me page here on this channel, you could see. But basically, it was just random stuff i started off making like fitness related content i like going to the gym so i wanted to kind of document my fitness journey i kind of gave up on that maybe about 
a year and a half ago, a year ago. It just it wasn't really for me. So I kind of switched up the style and wanted to do more stuff related to just being in your 20s, but more storytelling. And, and I really like that. And editing kind of videos. I really like that. But because I switched up, I think the algorithm really did not like that. And it just stayed on that one level. I probably gained about 100 subscribers in that whole year. It does hit motivation quite hard because like I, I was not really motivated to make videos because I, I kept I just didn't see the views I'd see like 10 views I'd see like two likes then a couple couple comments and stuff and I, in my mind I knew this is what I wanted to do because I just kept thinking of that 14 year old self thinking listen like this is something I've always wanted to do why would I give up now I've always given given up before just stick to it and I'm still doing that YouTube channel. And literally last week, this YouTube channel, by the way, I created this YouTube channel in nine months ago, last in December 2022. That's nine months now. And I have exceeded number one views wise and subscriber wise from all YouTube channels I've ever made in just nine months. And for me, it it's just incredible because i've not had this experience i've not had this before in my life and it's it really hit me when i hit a thousand i just kept thinking of of that 14 year old self thinking like when i hit around if i hit around thousand subscribers that was my dream that was my dream my dream was literally just to hit a thousand subscribers and that's it i don't care about hitting a, th a million obviously that's nice but for me, getting to 1,000 just seemed like getting to a million. It, it just seemed so big. So that's why like this significant milestone is so, so important. And it's, it means a lot to me. And when I tell you this, it means a lot. And I, and we, and, oh man, I'm kind of losing my words here, but like we hit it. We, we, we hit it and it's not even been nine months. And the thing that really confused me for a very long time was why did this channel hit a thousand subscribers? Like why this channel? I put so much effort into my main channel. It takes me about three to four weeks to make one video. Three weeks, to be fair. It takes me a whole week to plan, make a script. It takes me another whole week to film. And then it takes me another a week, a week and a half to edit the video and it takes me so so much time just to make a five six minute video but i'm not seeing the roi there i'm not seeing that kind of the same amount of traction not nearly as much as making putting a video out here on this channel and this channel it takes me 10 minutes to make a video i just film i might do the odd occasional chop cut if if i if it works but i barely edit any videos and I just upload it. And it hit me like, like, why? Like, I'm not even editing. I'm not putting enough time making those cuts, making the jumps. It doesn't matter. The reason why this channel is doing insanely better than the other one is simply because I'm just being me, my real self. Authentic. And yeah, I'm still being authentic in my main channel. Of course I am. But... You know, there is an element of trying to kind of engage the viewer, hook the viewer, because that's what you have to do now. You know, you have to you have to make sure that the viewer is engaged in the first 10 seconds or whatever. And that's the way the route YouTube has kind of gone down. And it's not the greatest, in my opinion. I feel like back in the day when YouTube was really good in the, in the sense like all you had to do was just film a video and just interact with people and, and be yourself. Because the whole slogan was YouTube broadcast yourself. But now it's not like that. It's just literally just which channel, which video can stay engaged the longest for their viewers. Like how do you keep viewers, how do you keep retention time, click through rate, watch time, whatever. So this channel, I'm just literally speaking to you through my camera. That's all I'm doing. I'm literally just speaking to you about important things that I feel like that need to be kind of spoken about and especially when we're in our 20s we have different things going on you know things like 
social media being a big part of a lot of people's lives and having to be off social media now and things just like what what you kind of encounter relationships finances just things that really matter and that things that really resonate and connect with people and i feel like when i'm making these videos when i'm speaking to you directly it feels a lot more personal and i feel like that is the reason why now on top of that there is obviously consistency you know i'm very proud of myself like not even recently this whole year like i've I've definitely been able to hit at least one video a week. Usually I'm posting about two to three times a week. And I've been doing that for the nine months straight. So I'm definitely proud of that. But most importantly, it's just connecting with you guys. Especially, I, I feel like we've got a a community going on where, you know, I see the same people commenting on my videos. I know I, I read every single comment. And I'm trying my hardest to reply to them all and I, I feel like I, I do well. Sometimes there might be the odd, odd occasion when I miss it, but I know exactly, you know, if you say something, if you DM me, if you add me on Discord, if you email me, I will get back to you. And I feel like that is the kind of thing, that that is what I want. So, yeah, I mean, I'm sorry I made this video kind of long for a thousand subscriber special, but I feel like it's something that's been on my mind and and i just feel so happy to to even make this video i didn't know i was going to make this video and this is something that's been brewing within me for a long long time but yeah a thousand subscribers and this is only the beginning